my name is Regan. I'm the executive chef of the Wilcox Hotel here in Bacon, South Carolina. I'm going to give you a little bit um, of a hint of how to work the grill, how to clean the grill, um, and how to use the grill. Um, maybe just a couple of heads up of ideas that you hadn't thought of before. We're going to start um, with cleaning the grill and getting it ready. Um, I have the grill here on high. Um, it's good if you put the lid down for a couple of minutes to get that heat really up because what we actually want to do is uh, scrape the grill to get all the old carbon off. Um, to do that it's best to get it as hot as possible. So take a wire brush, run it along the grill. Obviously don't lean straight over it. Um, so you can see a little bit of it there. You can actually see the carbon bits coming right on off. So give it a really good scrape. The next thing you do is take a rag, one preferably that you don't want to use again, dip it in a little bit of oil and then rub it along your grill. Try not to put too much oil on your rag otherwise you'll see it will clear up a little bit but you want enough that it will coat the grill. Once you've done that you're basically ready to go. So just a little bit of salt and pepper. You may use um, a dry rub or a wet rub. Um, today we're just going to use, as I said, salt and pepper. Now the grill has obviously different temperatures on it. It's actually best to create um, what we call heat zones. Uh, we have hot, we go medium, and low. You actually want to start searing your meat on the hob, but you don't actually want to cook it all the way through on the hob. What's going to happen is it's going to get that black charcoal um, sort of flavour and look to it. So once you've seared it, move it to a medium heat. So we have two types of tongs. We have long tongs and short tongs. The short tongs are actually going to give you more control when you're using them. Uh, the long tongs are for the heat. Obviously it can get extremely hot. So if you're not too keen getting right up, use your long tongs and you can step back a little bit. It's important that when you put it on the grill that you leave it. Don't play with your food, okay? Um, and the reason for that is we want to get a really nice sear. Um, and what happens with the sear is it kind of, it's like glue, it comes undone from the grill, the more sear that you get. Um, and you can actually see uh, the fish here is going a little bit opaque. Um, down the bottom here and you can see it's raw up the top and same with the feet. So that's usually a good indication of when you can actually turn it. So go ahead, I actually lift um, towards me and flip over just like that. And you see that it comes up well. And there's two reasons for that. One, we've got the sear and two, we season the grill before we start it. So make sure that you scrub and oil and then make sure that you put the meat or seafood and put it down, don't move it, um, and it will come up looking like a perfect 